Hi, I'm Dr. Ashish Dawalbuk at Aesthetics Medispa and Advanced Aesthetics in Pune. Today we are going to demonstrate how a chemical peel is done. If you have been advised a chemical peel by your physician or surgeon, you may be wondering what the process would involve. There are many types of chemical peels. Today we are going to demonstrate what we do here for acne. And we have got this lovely patient here and my colleague Dr. Monali. We are both going to demonstrate how a glycolic mask is done. So a glycolic mask, which is a 30% glycolic acid peel, is advocated for acne. So if you've got active acne or uh, uh, comedones or you have uh, even acne scars, then glycolic mask helps in clearing the openings of the glands on your face, the sebaceous and the sweat glands and that helps in reducing the incidence of the uh, acne. So we're going to start off with, I mean the first step is to uh, wash your face properly. So you remove all the makeup that you have had or any moisturizers or any sunscreens that you've had. Now we are going to apply a particular cleanser that will do that job for us. So you apply that cleanser all over the face and you may get even a little bit of a lather in the process and once you have cleansed it then you can wipe it dry so this helps in uh, working like a surfactant and it helps in reducing the uh, grime basically it helps in loosening of the uh, grime of your face and helps in cleaning it off so you can use a, uh, a wipe uh, afterwards to cleanse all that uh, cleanser off once you've done that we have a particular pre-peel uh, solution so this solution is from M&M and we prefer to use m and products because of their effectiveness. This pre-peel cleanser is a 20% uh, glycolic acid solution. So the principle in these peels is to gradually build up the concentration of uh, the uh, glycolic acid. So here, now if you can see, we are applying that pre-peel cleanser and you have to apply it with a fan-shaped brush or you, you may even use a, an earbud if you want and you have to avoid sensitive areas like the corners of your eye and the angle of your mouth so that there's not too much of deposit of uh, the uh, glycolic acid in that area but this is fairly a mild solution so you apply it all over the face and then you can leave it for 10 to 15 or even 20 minutes for it to work and this will help in reducing the adhesiveness of the keratinocytes and it helps in removing the dead skin cells and this is the first step of a uh, glycolic uh, mask application so now we are removing the pre-peel cleanser that we had applied and you can remove it in the same way that you had done the uh, initial uh, cleansing with either a wipe or a sponge or even cotton wool and you remove all the uh, pre-peel cleanser that you have applied you can even ask the patient to wash their face so it's not necessary that uh, you cleanse it in this way but it's more convenient doing it like this now we have come to the third step <coughs> in our glycolic mask and this is the glycolic mask here you can see it's glycolic acid in a clay basically foundation and you apply that to the skin with your finger rapidly rubbing it in quickly to form an opaque layer on the skin and it should be a uniform application you should warn the patient that they should tell you if it starts feeling hot the end point of glycolic peels in the m m series is basically depending upon the patient's perception of either warmth, heat 
or erythema uh, as the layer uh, of penetration goes deeper. So in our type of skin, basically uh, type 4 and type 5 Fitzpatrick, we should uh, aim for uh, basically heat. If the patient feels hot, that means that this has been a superficial uh, uh, penetration. If it starts uh, feeling like uh, erythema or redness, it's a medium depth penetration. And uh, usually you try to not go down that deep. But this is how you apply the glycolic mask all over, especially over the areas where the acne pimples are there. Uh, so that that area is covered and the other areas where you tend to get acne all that area has to be covered uh, and um, You leave that on for around five to six minutes Or you can remove it earlier if the patient feels it's getting very hot Okay, if the patient has been primed properly uh, with conditioners and uh, glycolic acid creams Then the penetration is nice and uniform once you have done that then you can ask the patient to uh, wash the face after they have come to the end of that duration to remove the glycolic mask. The glycolic mask does take some time to come off. It's uh, uh, not that easy. So they may have to wash their face uh, for a little while. And once you have done that, the uh, glycolic peel is actually over. You have to then apply a moisturizer or a sunscreen one important thing that you have to tell the patient is to avoid using any harsh products on the skin for three days because the skin will peel there will be some microscopic peeling and the epidermal barrier which will have got breached will take time to reform so they should avoid using any harsh uh, soaps or any active ingredients like retinol uh, or any other products so this is the way, this is just a demonstration of how a glycolic mask is done in our center and what you should expect if you have been told that you should have this. Thank you very much.